What is going on everybody? This is Mike with Terrible Gaming and today we are back playing some Subnautica. Uh, we have just passed the four hour mark or I have passed the four hour mark. Um, I've obviously cut out a lot of that stuff. Um, but so far, I don't have that much stuff. Uh, we do have a message waiting for us here, so let's take a look. Uh, this is LifePod 6, high priority passengers on board. Uh, okay, it's pretty much giving me coordinates to a crash site again, which is great, I think. Um, it is nighttime, so uh, exploring might be a little bit difficult. Um, but this episode, I kind of want to just go out and explore and try and find um, the blueprints for that moon pool thing. Um, also, uh, it has been a while since uh, since I've played this, so I'm trying to remember exactly how to play. There we go. And I think that there's a flashlight. Oh, there we go. Okay. It was just freaking out. So let's go explore a little. Um, but yeah, I really need that moon pool so I can make one of those sea moths. Which would be pretty cool. Uh, I keep seeing creepy stuff off in the distance. Then it kind of disappears. But that's kind of what I get for doing this at night. Or early morning. Yeah, those are terrible sounds. Uh, it's salvage. 30 seconds. Let's just pick up some uh, materials on the way. So I think it was last time we went on to the actual ship. I could be wrong, might have been the time before that. But, um, yeah, we did some exploring of the ship. We went on that side, so maybe I'll explore this side. See if we can't find, uh, some blueprints. Now, what is this? Hang on now. Vehicle bay fragment. Do I already have all that? Nope, I do not. Sweet. Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's one of those exploding ones. Great. Yay. Thank you, Explodey Fish, for everything you do. Okay. Coffee vending machine? Heck yeah. Only if I get it in real life, though. Dude, those things are everywhere. Ugh. Do I have a, uh, what is going on? Okay. Inventory. Yes, I do. Let's just use that, just in case. There seems to be quite a bit of stuff on this side. There's a person's picture in here, which is nice. Okay, let's take a look. Sea moth fragment. I think I already have all those. Yep. Okay, there's the creature egg. Okay, I'll take that. Let's see if we can't find more of those pieces. Uh, I should probably go to the top before I end up dying again, because that will happen. Alright, let's see. Looks to be something over here. Cool. Got the uh, mobile vehicle bay, which is good, I think. Unless, of course, I need a moon pool for that as well. In which case... That'll be frustrating. Let's see. Sea glide fragment. I already have that. Um, I think I already tried to scan this. Let's try again, just in case. Nope. Alright, well, we found one blueprint out of there. That's good. Um. 
Well, let's try and get a little closer to the ship. Oh, fine. Oh, I only had 10 seconds left, so yeah, I guess that was probably a good call. Some more salvage? Nope, this isn't salvage. Let's see. It is nothing. It's a giant harmonica. Um. Okay, yep. Lots of bad things down here. Propulsion cannon. Already have that. Which reminds me, I should probably take that out. Look, there's a creepy guy right there. Oh. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and not, uh, not mess with that. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, I've made a huge mistake. I have made a huge mistake. I need to go somewhere. Go to the go-go. Oh my gosh. Okay. What? What just happened? Oh no. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh. Okay. Well, that's actually not that big of a deal because I think I keep that that station thing that I found. Let's see. Well, I got the coffee machine, which must mean that I have the other thing, too. Um, let's... Actually, let's see. Caffeine-free co uh, Hydrating coffee. That doesn't happen. Okay. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, perfect. Deployables. Mobile vehicle bay. Perfect. Okay, so I need titanium ingot, power cell, lubricant. I think I have most of those things. Uh, titanium ingot, power cell, sweet, sweet. Um, I need those creep vine thingy-majigs. Creep vine cluster. Oh, you know what? There it is. Gosh, I need to stop hitting escape. Okay, mobile vehicle bay. Let's do it. Man, that giant uh, fish monster, man. Just... Uh, release the vehicle. Look at how. Look at that. Nope. That's not how you do it. Put it down here, maybe. There we go. What is happening? Oh, cool. Oh, is this how... Oh, yes. This is how I make the sea moth. Okay. Titanium ingot, power cell, lubricant, which I have all that stuff. Actually, I think I pretty much have everything. Let's, uh... Let's see about the power cell, though. I'm not 100% sure on that. Any more power cells? Uh, battery. Um, how do I make a power cell again? Electronics power cell. Two batteries and silicon rubber. Silicone rubber. Let's see. Um, I don't know if I have that silicone rubber. And I honestly don't remember how to make that either. Creepvine Seed Cluster, which I had that over here, I think. Yep. Let's go ahead and take that. Let's take the lubricant out of here as well.
silicone rubber. Beautiful. Um, what uh, I was trying to make power cell. Cool beans. I think I think that's everything. Power cell lubricant. Silicone rubber. No, silicone rubber is for the power cell. Uh, titanium ingot. Did I grab that? Thought I did. Um, but uh, apparently not. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. Uh, I think I think it might have required more than one, but better be safe than sorry. Uh, and I don't remember what the last thing is, but that's okay. Let's see. Two glass. Ah. What is this bottle thing? Cyclops? Ingred ingredients unknown. Cool. All right, let's go make ourselves a sea moth. Then let's see who's who's uh, eating who out there, because I'm not sure what a sea moth is, but it sounds super cool. Okay. Oh, it just oh got constructed and fell out of the sky. Access upgrades. Whoa! Excellent. Welcome aboard, Captain. Heck yeah. Now we are cooking with gas. Yes. Oh, hang on there. Yes, and I even have I even have the the futuristic uh, invention called lights, which is nice. And I think I can explore super deep now because I don't have oxygen. Well, I do have oxygen, but I don't run out of oxygen. And I'm, I'm not sure how to power this with the... It says it has energy, but I don't... I'm not 100% on how to refill that. So perhaps I shouldn't uh, use it so much. Where's my base? There you are. Well, I gotta say, Seamoth, I call that a win for this episode, so that's pretty cool. Um... Actually, yeah, that's probably a pretty good spot to uh, to stop this episode because, I mean, I can't really outdo myself now. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Lovely. Look at it. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to have finish the episode right here. Um, we'll continue next time with... Uh, I still want to get stuff for the moon pool even though I have the Seamoth now. Um, it would just be nice because I think I think the moon pool will let you uh, it'll let it dock onto this uh, onto this building. I think you can do upgrades and stuff. That's how you build those upgrades for the for the side of the uh, of the sea moth. That was like those little uh, spots for the upgrades. I think you build those in the uh, in the moon pool, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But it's all right. Next episode, we will attempt to find more stuff for the moon pool. Or find, you know, any blueprints for the moon pool. That'd be nice. Uh, but anyways, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to our channel for more content. And until next time, I've been Mike. And uh, th that hasn't been Dirk. I almost said that's been Dirk. We play too much, Dirk. Uh, and uh, this has been Terrible Gaming. And you have yourself a terrible day. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, click right here for our latest upload. Or click right here for another episode. And click our channel icon in the middle to subscribe.